my name is Rachel and I'll be helping you make this month's craft our Harvest Bounty Bird Silhouette picture frame. So if you already stopped at the library and got your craft pack, grab your scissors and let's get started. First thing you're going to take out of your craft pack is this image of a bird here. And if you notice on there, there's an X. This is going to be our stencil when we paint. So we're going to be cutting out the inside of the bird. So what I found is easiest if you just bend them a little bit. And right there on the X, just kind of give it a snip. That way it gives you something to stick your scissors in. And then you can just stick them in there and start from there and cut on the inside. Stay on the inside of the line all around. And you just continue all the way around the bird. Be careful of the feet. They're small. I tried to find one with bigger feet, but I don't know. They just don't got any big footed crows around here. So once you get that all done and you get it right the first time because I didn't, <laughs> it'll end up looking like this. So you have your, your outline there. Now set that aside and grab your piece of burlap. This is going to be done in a vertical rectangle. So position it like this, not like this. Although the way I cut some of them out, it could be iffy. Just take your best guess. So take your burlap and this piece of contact paper, which is actually the back of contact paper that we put on the soft back books when they come in. So set that down on your surface. Set your burlap down because that's going to protect your surface. And take your bird silhouette. Set that on top. Now kind of position that. I'll get that a little closer. You don't want the bird to set all the way down at the bottom on the burlap because it might catch the bottom of the frame. So give yourself a little space. I think maybe I gave myself a little bit too much space on that one. So eh, see what looks good to you. Now, if you're a confident painter, uh, don't bother to tape it down. But if you want to have a little bit more security, you can always tape your stencil down, maybe across the corners or something so it doesn't slide around. Set that down and in your bag, you have this little vial of black paint and a sponge. Now what I did, I just poured some of the paint into the lid. But if you want to have a little bit more uh, access to a bigger dollop of paint, you can use a paper plate or some other kind of non-porous surface. So once that's down and you have your bird positioned, now before you position them which way, you'll notice that I have my bird pointing to, I guess it'd be my left, and so he's not paint, so he's not facing the same direction as the wheat and the flower. That way it gives a little bit more visual interest, but however you want to do it is fine. But just if that's going to be important to you, kind of be conscious of which way you put your stencil down. So once your stencil is down, what you're going to do is, I'll put it up here so you can see it. You're going to start with the outside and work your way in. Now don't uh, brush it. We're going to be doing pouncing up and down motions and just kind of so it presses the paint into the burlap. Now, if you notice on your burlap, not every section has got a very tight weave, so sometimes it'll look more saturated than others. If uh, that's real important to you, you can always go back and do a, a second coat of it. But if you can see on mine, which I'll show you my finished one over here, it'll end up looking like this. And you see how in some parts where the weave is a little bit more open, it's a little, a little lighter. Uh, you can always try paint it some more to give it a little denser look, but that's kind of just really how it's going to be because of the the weave is more open in places. So here we go, we have our bird all finished. And you wanna set him aside to dry. And another thing, if you don't, if you weren't quite as crisp with your edges, you can always take a Sharpie and just kind of follow along the outline. So if a little paint got underneath your stencil, don't even worry about it. Just kind of go over with a Sharpie once it's dry. So set that aside to dry. Now take your frame. And what we're going to do is take the back off. There's just little prongs. Just lift those up. Be careful. This is a cheap frame. And set this aside. And I, I mean, you can take the glass out if you want to. I just left it in so I didn't have to keep up with it. And I just put the prongs back down a little bit. So here we have your frame. And take your wheat. I gave you three pieces of wheat here. And if you notice on mine, I had my wheat go, there we are all the way to the top. You can arrange yours however best suits your needs or your desires or tickles your little heart, I don't know. Uh, and just figure out how you'd like it to look. 
I will tell you that it generally looks better and lays easier if you have, if you kind of do it in a, uh, like one up, another down, a little down farther. That way it kind of makes your stems line up a little bit easier. So once you figure out how you like it to look, just kind of measure it against your frame. And then take your scissors and cut the bottom stems off so that it doesn't go any farther than the beveled edge there. So once you got those cut, take your glue pack and with the zipper side down, take your scissors and just clip off the corner there. Don't clip off very much because then uh, you'll have a lot of glue coming out. If you find out that you need a little bit more glue, then you can always make this look bigger, but start small. So once you get that cut, you put some glue where your stock's going to go. Now I didn't do glue all the way up, I just glued mainly at the bottom. That way, uh, you know, we just concentrated where it's going to be mostly hidden. So put your glue down, lay your stocks on top. It's not going to look perfect or lay flat right yet. So just kind of set, the where, set them where you want to go and then uh, we'll take care of that in a minute. So once you have those down, then you're going to put some glue here along the bottom bevel. And then we're going to put some moss down there. Again, just put a big doll of the glue and stick the moss in there. And it, it dries clear, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> all right, so you have those down. And finally, on top of all three of those, you'll take your sunflower. Now, there's a little sticky on the back of that. That little sticky's not going to hold. So we're going to add some glue to that as well. So squeeze out some of your glue on him. And then you'll put him on top of your wheat and your moss and so it looks something like that okay now you're thinking oh this is not laying fat, flat oh no oh no or oh, maybe you're not <laughs> no. so what i did is i just took my handy dandy staple box or anything you might have that has some some weight to it uh, a macaroni box do not use a book they find out i told you to use a book so no books. All right, so I use my staple box and I just set that down on top of there. So I gave it a little bit of weight to hold it down. Now this might take a little while to dry, especially as humid as it's been. So uh, watch an episode of The Floor is Lava, read a book, or, well, I've been thinking, I was talking to Crystal the other day. She does our Facebook and YouTube and book club. She's a really fun person and she was telling me how she put uh, music in front of some of the videos. And I thought, wouldn't it be really cool to have a theme song? <laughs> you know, like if you were doing like a classy craft, you know, like something with wine glasses, you could do like do 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 And like canon or like for this month, since it's kind of a country craft, we could do like bum 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 bang lang 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 bum 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 bang lang lang lang. Okay, think about it and let us know. So it's all dry. And now what we're going to do is take, just make sure that your leg for your frame is down. Now take your beautiful bird and kind of position him how you want him to be. Now you will have some overhang. So if that bothers you, you can go ahead and trim it. I didn't trim mine because I was afraid that I would pull it and then I wouldn't fit the frame right. So I kind of did it the lazy way and just stuck it in the frame. So however pleases you best, go for that. So you get an idea. You can tape it down, glue it down, or not, don't do anything, which is what I did. So get an idea and then put them in your frame. Make sure your prongs are up first because that helps. And if... Uh, you didn't glue it to your frame, then you can just set your burlap in the picture itself. Put that down. And then you can time, kind of turn them over and see if he's where you want him to be. Put the back of your frame there. There we are. Put your prongs down. And then you will have your Harvest Bounty Bird Silhouette Fall Decor. And you can sit that out and celebrate fall. I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. Thank you for joining us today. 
and I hope to see you next month. We're going to be doing some kind of creepy craft for October. So I hope to see you then. Watch Facebook to see what it's going to be. All right. See you next time. Zip ba ba do ba da ba da ba.